Operation Iranian Renaissance, how you can support Iranian protesters. So this is something that we have been working on at Atheist Republic for the past like 100 days almost and um, working really hard. And we've given some hints about it before, many times before, and now we're actually ready to launch and go live. So big news. This is okay. So guys, I think the main story is that you you made this website like I am so proud. Well, let's of not you. focus That's... on that right now. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of how this is a major project, and it's been we've been working on this behind the scenes, right? So it's finally here. Um, like we we didn't want to be one of those people who you know how we constantly report about the things that are happening around the world and oh what can we do about it what can we do about it right oh like oh can we just talk about it well we decided to actually take a step and do something about one of those problems right which is the you know the the current protests in iran and everything else that is happening in iran we decided to create um a re the resources a place where all the resources for that a lot of iranians inside of iran and outside of iran could need to be a lot more effective at what they do um we decided to go ahead and create a team that works on pr pr producing content and tools actually here let me go to the about section of this website so i could read oh by the way look it, it comes the Operation Iranian Renaissance, which is Opiran for short, is opiran.com. It's just got launched on Opiran and is a, in Persian and English. Where do I see, oh, here, the mission part. Do you want to read the mission? Sure. Hmm. Um, so domestic, so this is referring domestic to Iran. Um, to create easily accessible materials for Iranians to equip themselves with self-protective skills and increase practical knowledge in maximizing safety while fighting for their rights. And then our international mission is we seek to empower the Iranian diaspora by, by providing simple tools to pressure elective representatives outside of Iran to reflect the voice of the freedom-seeking Iranian people in key nations' policies towards Iran. Right. So if you look at the content that has been already made so far, so we launched it. We're not, this is not like something that uh, we launched and said like, oh, we, got, we are going to do things. We already came up with some of the tools that people need, right? So like, for example, this PDF file over here, look at this. Okay. This is perfect. This is about a, a very short one page handy um, guide for how to do the pro how to uh, do protests more effectively right the what to wear what to do what not to do what to bring with yourself how to deal with um tear gases so this is you know the reason why it's, everything is in one page is that if you if you can print it out and hand it out during the protest like there's a lot of really really helpful advice and these are some of the advice that is the first time available in persia and we used a lot of really reliable and authentic, you know, really um, reputable sources for, uh, in English to make this available in Persian, right? So then there was a, there's this one. Um, Rahna, uh, this one is about how to this um, deal with um, bullet uh, bullet wounds, like how to treat bullet, uh, what to do if you get hit by uh, if you get shot by a bullet and what to do with it, how to stop the bleeding, how to treat it. Okay, so this is another PDF. So it has everything, look at this. It has all the guide here. This is fantastic. Again, this is the first time we have something like this in one PDF in Persian available to protesters in Iran, right? What to do at the moment of the uh, that you get shot? How to how to you know take co take cover? What to look for? How to look for the signs of like what signs to look for? Like if you're somebody that is next to somebody who got who just got shot, uh, what to what signs to look for? And it, it's it's pretty. These these are life and death. You know, this could really help somebody, right? So we've been spreading this all over uh, social media, and we actually, if you are um, Persian and active on social iranian social media you could really help us by spreading this uh, we decided to make sure that we put these in pdf format because the internet in iran is really really crappy we wanted to make sure that we create content that is shareable with very low 
uh, internet speeds so, so that there's not that much um, you know, because video format would be great as well and we will have video format as well but we want to make sure that these are really easily shareable right so this is we also have a couple of other so these are the main two ones that we've made so far but we have um, a guide with on how to create helmets you know from household materials how to create a bulletproof vest um, what else do we have? Oh, how to um, a guide to how to deal with batons, a, a more detailed guide on how to deal with tear gas. So th these are mostly content for Iranians uh, inside Iran who are involved in the protests. But we're eventually going to also start focusing on content for Iranians who are outside of Iran, on guides on how to pressure I Iranians who are dual citizens, like for example, Iranian Canadians, Iranian Americans, Iranian uh, Germans on how to use their citizenship in these other countries and how to pressure politicians to take uh, firmer stances against the Islamic Republic of Iran and be the, basically the Iranians outside of Iran. We give them the tools to be the voices of Iranians inside Iran using their second citizenship and how to make political changes. So we're going to have like templates on how to you know, con uh, contact their uh, members of parliament or congressmen or senators, what to say, you know, not just emails, how to do phone calls, how to do snail mail, because those are very effective. How your voices will, like if you are a donor to a certain politician, your emails and your um, phone calls will be taken a lot more seriously. So like we could show them like with, a, with just a little bit of a donation, like if, even if you're a donor with like $1 a month to a politician, yeah, your emails apparently get marked that you are a donor. So those were actually get read. So these are the types of guides that we need to make for like Iranians in different countries. And so that's one thing we work on. So the things that we are right now, we're working with a team of uh, volunteers, but we can't continue doing that. Um, we are going to need to, if, if we want to do this more seriously, we need to actually hire translators um, and designers like these are because we can't just wait on volunteers to do this. So we're hoping to expand this team. And also, Susanna, you wanted to also upgrade the website. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that I want to do with the website, but just um, uh, turn it into kind of like a, a resource hub and a resource library. But just like the hours that you and resources needed to put into web development is something that we need more um, resources to do. Right. Because that is very intensive. Also, we got a super chat. This is the super chat that we were uh, holding off on by Secular Sakai <laughs> saying that he, he just donated $100 directly to Atheist Republic's oh, wow. Opium Project. So I actually checked. If you go to donate here, so if you go to donate, you can see that we already got, like, we were going to announce it to you. We we're going to show you that this had like zero. Because the goal is eight thousand, right? But we already raised one hundred because of secular Sakai. Look, it's showing. So if you go um, on the op, op, again, the website is opiren.com. That's o p i r r e n dot com. That's down. Opiren is basically short for Operation Iranian Renaissance. And remember, that's two R's, right? And if you go to donate, we already have a hundred dollar donation. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I want to, Susanna, do you want to read what we have here on the donation link? Yeah, sure. Hmm. So it says, the people of Iran have risen up and sparked an Iranian renaissance. In doing so, they aim to unshackle themselves from tyranny and usher in a new era of rule by the people, secularism, and liberalism. Operation Iranian Renaissance, renaissance Op Iran, aims to create easily available tools for the Iranian people to equip themselves with practical knowledge for maximizing safety while fighting for their rights. There is a wealth of knowledge shared amongst demonstrators on how to protest safely, but unfortunately there is very little of this content available in the Persian language. Operation Iranian Renaissance has already produced uh, protest Persian language safety guides and tutorials for, cre uh, for treating bleeding and bullet wounds. But there is a lot more to be done, including guides for self-protective equipment like helmet and goggles, instructions on how to defend oneself against tear gas and police brutality, templates for Iranians of with dual citizenship to contact their local and national representatives, and 
pressure them to implement foreign policy changes that bring about a liberal and prosperous future for Iran and much more. We need your help. Please help us accumulate the resources and manpower to support freedom fighters. Also, you could just help by sharing this campaign. If you don't, if you can't donate, you could just share the campaign. So that would be helpful as well. But yeah, yeah there's so a this lot is... of time and a lot of hours that have like gone into this already. I love the team that we're working with, but there's so much more that we can do. We just need to have the resources available to do it. Um, but I'm really, really, really proud of everything that the team has achieved so far. Like this was the idea and really like answering the call for help from our Atheist Republic Persian community. Because our Atheist Republic Persian community in Iran is coming to us and our team and the rest of our community outside the country and they're like, we need help. We don't know what to do. Like we are getting, they send us pictures of them bloody from what the authorities do to them. They're like, wow, what can we do to protect ourselves? Please help us. And mm. our community just organically sprang into action and this is what it became. And it's just, I don't know, it's amazing. And, and guys, um, I, I also am um, proud because usually when a project like this is happening, people are like, Oh, we want to do something, support us so that we could get started, right? But this Operation Iranian Renaissance comes already with material, like it's already showing that it has done things, right? So we already have produced very helpful content that could literally save lives, right? Um, so it's, it's providing um, the proof that it is going to do the things that it's going to do. Like it's already showing examples of things that it's capable of making. And we already have a process of how to do this. Like we, because we already tried it, like we already have like a step-by-step um, -step process of how to get, find the material, ask the community what's the most helpful, find the material, get it translated, get it designed, and then go boom, boom, boom. Like I want, it, I want us to get to a place where we're like, where we are constantly, you know, producing co new content and helpful content. And also like, we don't just make these contents will willy nilly, like we are in communication with the people in Iran um, to figure out exactly what would be the most helpful content to create. So yeah, I'm very proud of this amazing job. Yeah, me too. So if yeah. you guys want to check out our work, go to opiren.com. So that's O-P-I-R-R-E-N.com. And if you are excited about what we're doing in have the ability to contribute anything. It does help us so much. And so you can find that on DonorBox. So donorbox.org slash Operation Iranian Renaissance. Um, Actually, I think it would be easier to just go to operan.com and then if you click yeah, on no, the all, donate, every, all the information it, is there as well. Well, let me say, let me finish this. If you click on donate on the website, it will just take you to the DonorBox link that Susanna is showing. But Operan is easier to remember. That's why I'm saying like, mm -hmm. uh, just remember that there are two R's. I'm really happy with the name as well. Operation Iranian Renaissance. That's a pretty epic name. I, I like it because basically what's happening, what we're uh, achieving in Iran, what is, is to take Iran through a Renaissance, right? Like I think this is, and, th and I think this is like, if we get a secular democracy in Iran, this is the beginning of a new era for the Middle East. Like Iran 100%. could be, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not going to be just Iran. It's going to spread. This could be the beginning of the age of enlightenment that we were hope waiting for all this time for the Middle East. Yeah, well, one can dream. But again, um, also, guys, um, another thing you could do if you can't donate is to share this, right? Um, share this to your Iranian friends and be like, hey, look, um, it, it comes in Farsi as well. But you could tell your Iranian friends, hey, if you have... If you know people in Iran, send them this website. These resources are freely available for everybody. And again, they could just um, if they could just also send the PDF. Like you, they could just download this PDF and just send those send the PDF. Well, and I also made people. a bunch of pre-made social media posts where all you have to do is scan the oh, QR yeah. code and it'll bring you the PDFs. So you it's, did that. It's made it very easy for people to share. Yes, this one, the distributive, distributive material, like, so if people want to share the content, oh yeah, so these are the stuff that you can, is social, is friendly, social media friendly, right? So if you, if you know, in the 
for stories, for Instagram posts, for Facebook posts, all of that is here as well. That's very good that you had that. That's because you don't have to, because a lot of people who want to make Instagram posts, they have to design it or something like that, but you have that ready for them. So yeah, exactly. They're like, I don't know where to add the link that, that, that don't worry about it. Just scan it. You'll pull it up. You can Wait, share it easily like, that way. Yeah. Actually, let me, um, this one, for example, right? Yeah, so look, this it's a square format. You don't have to, when you're making an Instagram post, you don't have to include the link or anything because it already has this QR code and everything here. Yeah, guys, so if you guys can't donate, um, just go and share the content. Go share the material. It's already it's already giving you all the format that you need for social media. You could, you could be saving people's lives by just putting these as stories. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Thank you, Susanna. Thank you, Armin. And yeah, thank you to like everyone on our team. Yeah, they're yeah. yeah, working really, really hard on this. And I'm really proud. Guys, see, well, like we're not just talking about these things. We're actually trying to do something about it. So this is like I think it's important <laughs> to recognize that. That's yeah. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.